Where are our two stranded astronauts? In the International Space Station. Do you know how big the space station is? It's the size of a football field. Now, of course, the space station is composed of modules. How big are the modules? Well, it's a volume because you're just floating around, so it doesn't make sense to think of it in square footage. But let's try to do that. It's about 400 square feet. All right, what else is true? Oh, there's a half dozen other astronauts already there in the space station. Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of the Interstellar Shadows. You've been with me all this week, and I thank you for that. I hope you're having a wonderful day, because today there is much to discuss, some of which are big news. Guess who's receiving a spiffy new space station? And boy, sooner than most folks think too. Yes, sir, a replacement for the International Space Station, ISS, is no longer a pipe dream. It is transforming into an actuality. Today, I think it is obvious that the ISS has been humanity's foothold in LEO for more than 20 years and serves as the research platform and the place for international cooperation. But it is aging, and every aging company has to retire one day. So, what's next? Well, we are not just getting a single replacement. We are getting multiple of that here. Yes, and the future of space stations is private, innovative, and it is coming far sooner than we think. Why do we need a new space station? First off, why is it such a big thing to replace the ISS? Still, space exploration is not only about rockets and rovers. An orbiting base is needed as well. The ISS is a research laboratory and the testing center for new technologies. It is an international space station and therefore a fulfillment of cooperation, but it is also a time capsule of sorts. They can be traced back to the 1990s. And although the firm has managed to keep it operational by constant upgrading, the costs associated with this are ballooning, literally. Apart from that, the ISS was not intended to stand eternal. NASA wants to decommission ISS by 2030, and it is on the list to bodies the station safely. This means that there is very little time to establish new stations, ones necessary to continue key research and further extend human exploration capabilities. Here's the kicker. NASA is not constructing this replacement on its own. Instead, they're contracting private businesses with millions of dollars on putting up commercial space stations. These stations will not only be used by NASA, but will pave the way for commercialization of space, for space tourism, manufacturing, and even space movies. Meet the contenders, Axiom, Starlab, and Vast. Three major players are leading the race to replace the ISS, namely Axiom Space, Starlab, and Vast. Every one of them has a different concept when it comes to constructing humanity's next abode in space. Axiom Space, the pioneers, so let me begin with Axiom Space, the firm that is currently creating buzz for itself with its RP. NASA signed one of the first significant contracts with Axiom to build a commercial space station. Their plan? Initial launch is to connect additional modules to the overall structure and then dispense with them and function independently once the ISS is decommissioned. But wait, it gets better. Axiom recently shifted gears. Instead of waiting for years to develop their free-flying station once the ISS is decommissioned, they are planning for much earlier releases of independent units. Cruise power, life support, and quarters is the first module, which may be in orbit by 2028, which is two years ahead of the current schedule. Its design is clean-cut, in sections, and prepared for business. The first habitat module alone will come standard equipped with private crew quarters with a view of the Earth, docking bays for visitors' spacecraft, and the ability to expand and add additional habitat modules as needed. In its final configuration, Axiom could host up to eight people and could therefore be used for science, tourism, crafting, or micro-manufacturing. Starlab, NASA meets the future. The second in line is Starlab, though it is being implemented by NanoRax in partnership with Voyager Space and Airbus. This space station is strictly an R&D facility, intended to become NASA's primary lab in space when it succeeds the ISS. 
Starlab will include a big inflatable habitat, a system that has already been used in practice with the beam module by Bigelow Aerospace on the ISS. This design is foldable, allowing the skinny for launch to be small, but also being able to provide enough space for experiments and crew members. Vast, the wild card. Lastly, Vast can be mentioned. An actor that appeared in the space business relatively recently, but develops incredibly actively. Thus, unlike Axiom and Starlab, Vast aims to put an O'Neill cylinder-type space station into orbit in one attempt launching on SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. Their station will be small but muscular. It will be built to sustain few people and to be functional at the same time. VAST's goal is simple. Do this in order to show that it is possible for LEO to witness great returns despite the use of small and efficient stations. Again, it's remarkably ambitious that VAST has set this timeline for itself, but they have all the partnerships and resources as proof that it's achievable. If successful, they could essentially alter the perception of what space stations are or can be entirely. The role of microgravity research. So why all the urgency? Why do we need to have a space station? As I have mentioned before, it is all about microgravity research. In LEO, where the effect of gravity is nearly zero, researchers are able to do experiments that cannot be done on Earth. With such applications incorporating cell culture technology, clients are able to develop new drugs, grow biological organs for transplant purposes, and produce extremely accurate technical material for new technologies purposes. For instance, the capability to bio 3D print in space is going to dramatically change the healthcare industry. On Earth, another force, gravity complicates the process making fragile structures crumble Space microgravity remains uniquely significant, since in such a state it is easier and possible to build various tissues and complex structures, but even that is just the bare minimum of what can be said. From experimental materials in shelters to the effects of microgravity on human bodies, virtually everything can be experimented on and the rewards are worth billions. It seems that as soon as the space station was pioneered, Many companies were ready and willing to jump on the bandwagon in order to take advantage of what only this type of facility can offer. Challenges ahead Of course, planning and constructing a new space station is not without its difficulties. Concerning funding, collaboration, and technology, every candidate has challenges and vice versa. Axiom, for instance, had to set aside their plans because NASA's deorbit vehicle which will take up the port that Axis had planned on using in the ISS. Then there is the spate occurrence of space debris. As there were increasing numbers of satellites and spacecraft that are now in orbit, collision has become an issue. That's why new stations will need sophisticated maneuvering systems that will enable the crews to navigate around such obstacles. The Future of Space Stations of course, planning and constructing a new space station is not without its difficulties. Concerning funding, collaboration, and technology, every candidate has challenges and vice versa. Axiom, for instance, had to set aside their plans because NASA's deorbit vehicle, which will take up the port that Axis had planned on using in the ISS. Then there is the spate occurrence of space debris. As there were increasing numbers of satellites and spacecrafts, that are now in orbit, collision has become an issue. That's why new stations will need sophisticated maneuvering systems that will enable the crews to navigate around such obstacles. The dawn of a new space era. So there you have it. NASA's new space station is on the horizon, arriving sooner than expected, and sparking a fierce competition to replace the International Space Station. Companies like Axiom Space, Starlab and VAST are at the forefront of this ambitious race, each with their unique vision for the future of human presence in low Earth orbit. Whether it's Axiom's innovative modular design, Starlab's commitment to cutting-edge research, or VAST's bold leap toward independent orbital platforms, one thing is undeniable. The next chapter of space exploration 
is being written by private industry. These ventures represent not just technological progress, but also the promise of expanded opportunities for research, commerce, and international collaboration in space. As the ISS nears the end of its lifespan, this transition marks a pivotal moment in humanity's quest to explore and utilize the cosmos. It's a shift toward a new era where private companies play a central role in shaping our future beyond Earth, fostering innovation that could redefine life as we know it. If you enjoyed this in-depth look at the future of space stations, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Together, we'll uncover the wonders of the final frontier. Until next time, stay curious and keep reaching for the stars.